Um, it's not just children, though, because when we were talking about this this morning, I said, I think we're all mm. as guilty of this. Yeah, we are. Adults, yeah, you know, yeah. of being on our phones. Yeah. And we always kind of claim it's work. If ever but you Jack do, goes, you become Mom, I go, it's work, it. it's work. He doesn't impression me like this. It's work, darling, it's work. <laughs> yeah. um, but, you know, but also, everybody's doing it. But it's it. terrible when you go to the seaside or you go to... A, a beautiful garden or you go to, a, you know, a stately home or whatever. You just see people walking through now, not actually looking at it, holding up Filming their it. phones, yeah, But I'll tell you what's really it. annoying, I think, is that you sort of want to tell your children, I oh, know you're going to grow up like a zombie. He's not a zombie. Mm. It's no. incredibly witty. I remember just, like, when he was about 10, he was saying to me, he'd been learning about Spain at school, right, and also about Spanish culture, and he suddenly said to me, Dad, why has Spain named its cold tomato soup after the Gestapo? <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> And I thought, that's a good joke, right? <laughs> that's a great joke. And then, and then about a year later, we were watching Euro 2016, the final of that tournament, and Ronaldo, you, you, you may or may not remember yeah, this, yeah. Ronaldo got injured in that, in that game. He was lying on the ground. Of course we remember it, don't Of course we? you remember <laughs> it. Of course you remember <laughs> it. But he was lying on the ground, right, and a moth started banging away at Ronaldo's <laughs> face. And Ezra said to me, I don't know why that moth was attracted to Ronaldo, he's not that bright. The point is... I just think somewhere he's learning wit and sophistication, and maybe it's not from the same places that we. Yeah. Yes. And maybe that's okay. Yeah. I think it used it's just to be a different way of communicating. In restaurants, didn't it? Yeah. We'd sit and we'd give the kids colouring books. Listen, don't you start. Yeah, yeah. 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 Because yeah. If, any, if anyone on this panel is addicted to social media, it's just Arlinda. It's just Instagram. I just, I'm a nosy woman. Yeah. <laughs> so do you, do you know, we've checked, okay? Do you know how many um, likes? That you have posted Instagram likes you've posted in the, in the last I 24 hours. I don't count hours. how many. 89. Like... 89. Oh, yeah. There's 89 people that have posted nice pictures and I've liked them. Yeah. Yeah. But that's but four 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 Do you actually know, you know where what? you are right now if you're constantly looking at the screen? Uh, I think I'm in the Lewis Women Studio. You know what, though, Linda? My... One of the most it's liberating bit, things. One of the most liberating things I did recently was I. I deleted my so most of my social media, yeah. I've done it a few times, because, I mean, my husband does get the amp, we'll be sitting watching a film and all of a sudden I'll pick get, the phone up. Give me a phone, and... let me yeah. check it, Hang see on. if you've Lynn, liked anything. No, no, let's take it. Has it got a code Did on you it? like... Trump yes, saying Melanie, has. did you like it? We I mean, did you, did no, you I didn't like that. I don't like anything in. that Trump says. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're going to get that phone off her in a minute. We are going to get that phone off her. Please don't go anywhere. Oh, David Baddiel, thank you very much.